Hey everybody, Jeff Archer here. Well, we are now on to the final episode of DuckTales Season 1, Episode 23, The Shadow Wars. Oh, as if this couldn't get any worse. Now we've got Heartless popping up. Wait, we've got Shadow Wars. Seriously? Okay, if we get to see a Keyblade reference in here, I'm going to laugh my butt off. <laughs> Let's go for it. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes, it's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. DuckTales, woohoo! Every day they're out there making DuckTales, woohoo! Tales of daring do bad and good luck tales, woohoo! The, the, the danger lurks behind you There's a stranger out to find you What to do? Just grab onto some ducktails Woohoo! Every day they're out there making ducktails Woohoo! Tales of daring, bad and good Not ponytails, not cotton tails No ducktails Woohoo! Too bad. I've seen worse. No, right here. Not stealing the boat. <coughs> yep, back to the good old days. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Wow. Big day, magic, real big day. The eclipse is at hand. My plan is flawless. <laughs> oh! Let me go! Oh, that's right, I forgot you were here. I won't let you do this! Yeah, uh huh. Oh, except at the moment of the eclipse, my powers will finally unleash, and I'll be an invincible juggernaut of dark magic! <laughs> Okay, I want to fight her! I can use your body to get inside the house. Then I'll weaken the Scrooge with this. Snatch the number one dime. Into the eclipse. Unleash my full power. And use it to destroy everything Scrooge has ever loved. <laughs> Animus Mr. McDavid. Oh, hello, Mr. McD. Don't worry. I'm not here to check on you on account of everyone moving out because the boys blame you for launching their mom into space and orphaning them. I'm here to take you out for ice cream. Mmm, sounds good. <laughs> Family crisis. I mean, ice cream. Go away. Out. Moved. Ice cream. Without those kids to let me in, how am I supposed to get my evil, evil vengeance? <laughs> No, I will defeat Scrooge and Duck. I am the Dark Shadow. I am well. I am the stuff of nightmares lurking in the hidden recesses of your mind. I am. Ooh. All right. Just have to convince Scrooge that I'm a typical little girl. Oh my God. Gee whiz, Mister. It's me, that insufferable well cleaner. The little urchins invited me over to. Um, what do children like? Play marbles. The children are gone. Leave me alone. Forever. Aw, <laughs> oh, shucks. Webby said this would happen. What did she say? That you wouldn't be able to handle the kids leaving and have an old man meltdown. I thought better of you. Guess I was wrong. Wow! At last, 
a vanquishing for the ages, a final clash between the sorceress of the shadows and the world's greatest adventurer, Scourge Whoa! Wait, what? Wow! He's uh, let himself go. Hey guys, I think you misplaced this box. We're throwing that away. <laughs> I'm half expecting the Kelpies to pop up and grab it. Hmm. Viking funeral. Count. Well, do we and I still be friends? Who will I call for advice? And do they have phones and kids or that? Okay, okay. One of us needs to stay calm here. So, you? Uh, all we need is a simple plan to remind Scrooge and the boys how much they need each other. Huh? An amazingly fun and elaborate farewell dinner party scheme. Yes! Step one. We throw the boys a farewell party to convince them they don't want to move. Step two. Reveal surprise guest, Scrooge, and remind them how much they all miss each other. Step three! There is no step three! Because we just nailed it in two steps! Woo! This can't go possibly wrong at all! Wow! Uh, how long has your housekeeping staff been gone? Three days? Whoa! So how are my so-called kin? Miserable, no doubt. Living on that disgusting boat. I'm obviously doing much better than they are. Ah, pesky person. <laughs> Keep my eyes, Wait, do it. <laughs> Scrooge! That side sack of feathers is not Scrooge. <laughs> the Scrooge of Duck I know is a shrewd, conquering hero of a legend. Yeah! Meet the press dog. Oh dear God. Unless this is all a tree. Yes, that's it, of course. He senses something. He's trying to convince me. He's a pathetic loser. Hoping I'll make a mistake. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't fool me, Scroogey. I am the one who falls. Yeah. Whiz it. Lights out. Grab the dial. Then I enact my vengeance. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk, Lena. Oh boy! Wait, how much space is on this boat? Huh. It says here that Cape Suzette has a pretty neat park. They just got a second swing. And the Cape Suzette Saltine Cracker Factory gives public tours. And they let you sample the crackers, at least? Yeah. Well, this place used to sound exciting, right? Ha ha! Meet the new Dewey, the dashing debonair yachtsman of Cape Suzette. <laughs> Fancy boat shoot. Pay worth it for the fanciful juice. <laughs> Dear Hubert Dufood and Lou, you are cordially <laughs> invited to your own dining room for a dinner full of heartwarming memories and surprises. Question mark? Will you attend? Yay or nay? Hello, Mr. 
Sesame Tea, come to a party on Donald's house boat for uh, <laughs> um, uh, a game of charades. Free food. I'll be there. You will. <laughs> But they'll only eat the finest lobster caviar canopies. And make sure no one starts eating until I get there, as I consider it the height of rudeness. Bless me, bagpipes. Good day. Dinner officially ruined. <laughs> now, back to destroying Scrooge. Where's our plastic nutmeg tea? Ooh, convenient. Don't worry, I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> the boys tell you we're making you a heartwarming farewell dinner. Just pour the whole, just pour the whole thing in it. What are you doing? He is very committed to this looking pathetic trap. Yeah, it's not a trap, love. Gee, it'll settle you. Thanks. Oi! <laughs> Sweet, playful marbles. Three to a bag. Red, green, and that rascal blue marble. Oh, my God. Tell it away at once. An ungrateful old and I'm an every ton. After all I did for them, and they just threw it in my face. Yeah, there's nothing worse than marbles. <laughs> mm. D? I'm talking about family. Ugh, tell me about it. They disobey you, run you ragged, don't follow through on elaborate revenge plots. They spend your money, take over your home, cause trouble, wander way into your head with fond memories that you carry you out, no matter how hard you try. Cheers to ridding fond memories. And then, they leave without so much as a thank you. Forget family. Who needs him? I'll drink to that. Now, of all the idiotic thing, I'll go make you another. <laughs> this is not going well for her, is it? For the greatest dinner of all time. Culinary journey through Duckburg. Every bite reminding you how much you love this town you're leaving behind Aww. for some no reason. The family tea. Old family recipe. Tastes like the loving embrace of family. Are these melted popsicles and cups? The stir has a riddle on it. Yeah, you won't get fancy stuff like this in Cape Suzette. That's probably for the best. I heard there was a farewell party. I brought ambrosia salad. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically wrote on her invitation, don't come. And where is Scrooge? He was supposed to be here half an hour ago. Okay, okay, okay. Just need to smile till he arrives. A toast! The dictionary defines family as a group of people bound together by commitment and unwavering loyalty. So, let's each say one nice thing about a particular relative of ours. <clears throat> Boys? Oh, fine. I'll go with Uncle Donald, because Mark? he's devoted to his family, unlike others. Aww. Yeah. And he's thoughtful. Don't forget passionate. I like his sailor get up. Oh. Hey, we all love Donald. But how about a relative that is not in this room who is over 80 and is very, very rich? Why are you guys acting so weird? Uh, we're not. Emergency bell's out. Don't! Webby? You look bad. A word. This is a parent trap, isn't it? You're trying to manufacture sentiment to force Scrooge and the boys to come together against their wills. I want in. Ha! Really? Do it. This family won't come together. We'll have to do it for them. I assume you invited Scrooge. Yeah, but he's running late. Okay, I'll get the boys and Donald emotionally primed while we wait. I'm a former agent and a grandmother. I know how to weaponize guilt. Oh, that should be good. Oh, tidy them up. This time in a convenient no spill cup. Finally, without like those kids dragging me off on rip roaring, done forgettable adventures, I can just sit here in peace, stare vacantly at my money, and sulk with an arrant recluse. On an unrelated note, how's that tea? 
spilt. <laughs> wanted it because she's imprisoned in it oh dear. feed my power dark eclipse free my form from the abyss dormant magic now unchain the shadow queen be who again oh god Oh dear. Hello, I missed you. <laughs> That's not good. Magic of despair. Black-hearted wretch of the foulest lineage. Impossible. How? Why don't you ask your housekeeper's granddaughter's new best friend? You have a confusing family structure, you know that. You got your stupid body back now, leave us alone. Yes, scotch and a piece of ogres. <sighs> Oh, but I just got there! Oh, that's not good. Apple shortbread pie with a scoop of sea salt ice cream. Ooh. Finally, some real food. Sea salt ice cream. I'm so sorry. There's that reference. Was Scrooge's favorite dessert. I don't want to remind you of that horrid man who lost your mother all those years ago. Even if it was an accident that tore him up for ten years, propelling him into a desperate search attempt that left him broken and nearly bankrupt. Wait, bankrupt? Really? But I understand. You're upset because you lost one family member, which was terrible and painful. So you decided you should go ahead and lose another. Brilliant. Makes perfect rational sense. Yeah, nailed it, Mrs. B. Yes, distance yourself even further from his life and forsake family altogether. That will definitely fix it. No, it'll do the opposite of that. Perhaps it's worth considering that the reason Scrooge closed himself off was because the loss of Della was the hardest thing he'd ever faced. Harder than any adventure. It's not that he didn't care. It's that he cared about family more than anything in the world. And perhaps he still does. But I'm just a housekeeper. What do I know? A lot! This lady knows a lot! <laughs> Launchpad, you're not supposed to be falling for the damn trick! <laughs> you weak and nibblous traitor! We welcomed you into our home only to have to unleash this repugnant beast, Manga! She's my aunt! She made me do it! Mm. Family! Mm. Good fun! Nothing left me completely vulnerable to this! <laughs> Please, Magica only got in here because you threw your family out. 
out. My family is good for nothing. Your family is amazing. You fight and get into trouble, but it doesn't matter because you, I don't know, love each other or something. Dude, I wish I had your family. Aww. You're right, class. Help me get my family back. And you'll have a place in it. We're all stronger together. Ready? I'll see what I can do. Come on, young Mephistophelian Medusa. Let's go. Sorry, I was just watching you rally for triumphant comfort. Aww. Sad. So futile. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Revenge. <laughs> Whoa! Bless me, bad pipes! Cause you dispel. No, no, Scrooge. Curse you! <laughs> Not the most inspiring final word. Whoa, okay. Now let's toast to a fine farewell meal topped with a dash of perspective. So, this whole thing was to guilt us into going back to the mansion? Well, it's not gonna work. Sorry, but it's too late. We're going to Camp Suzette with our real family, and that's that. Right, Uncle Donald? Wow. Ha! <laughs> right. It was Scrooge Fortress, and we had fun. And family has been a part to win. Dude, family. Come on, come on. You know you wanna. Here comes the Xehanort style apocalypse! <laughs> oh boy! Whoa! Oh, he's conscious in there! Well, that's not good! That's gonna be far enough. Take it in, Ooh. Nice. Definitely got a bit of a devil's tornado feel here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely realm of darkness right there. Um. Ah, okay. Magical dispel. <gasps> Wait, who? Magical dispel. A vile sorceress with a mysterious ancient grudge against Lane and Duck. She was Scrooge's bitterest rival, but no one's seen her since they fought on Mount Vesuvius 15 years ago. All right, old cool heads. We must help Scrooge before anything else. <laughs> Hello. That's it! No more underwater laughs! <laughs> hey no, 
castles or abandoned castles from now on. Mr. Deerloose, what happened? Our own shadows came to life and wrecked the lot of our... My shadow control ring is still in the test phase, so this one is not on me. Uncle Scrooge is in trouble and it's up to us to help him. Did anyone get any of that? Yes! I'll show you unintelligible. The Barxian modulator, able to translate neural impulses into sonic transmissions. Yeah. It's a voice box. Oh, okay, yeah, tell me so modulator. Yeah. You mad scientist? Huh? Whoa, he sounds so normal. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. <sighs> Never been able to say that before. <clears throat> As I was saying, Uncle Scrooge is in trouble, and it's up to us to help him. An adventure is in our blood. We face down perilous foes, endless <laughs> danger every day, but we always prevail because these ducks don't back. Down. Thank you, Donald. Now, we need to stage a coordinated attack. Gyro, you and your team will charge the bridge to distract Magicka's shadow forces. <laughs> Put up the air attack to draw her attention. Do you think you can crash into the bin? <laughs> <laughs> and Beakley, while the others distract Magicka, you and I will sneak around back in my newly fixed up houseboat. That is actually very close to what I was going to say. And we... We'll stay here. Ha! Out of danger. Oh, come on! But this isn't an adventure. This is magic of the spell. Under no circumstances are you kids to come to the bin. Do you understand? Yes, Uncle Donald. I could understand it perfectly. But then again, you know, 15 years of Kingdom Hearts. The ducks don't back down! Not only we need someone with experience breaking into places. You mean like a noble teen ne'er do well who can break into anything, including your heart? Yeah, that'd be great. Lena! Lena! Yeah! Except one small, tiny, yet significant problem with that plan. My house, my rules. Aye, aye, sir. Ha Get ready for the storm. <laughs> Have you been saying things like that this whole time? Yes! Yes, he has! <laughs> oh, best seat in the house. Now the revenge monologue I've been plotting for 15 years. To my most hated nemesis. That's you. As you know, you banished me to another realm within your dime, where I've been biding my time devising your delicious downfall. In conclusion... Wait, these are out of order. Hold on. Hold on! <laughs> for 15 years, I'm entitled to a full minute of gloating. I will make you watch as I destroy everything you've ever loved, starting with your precious little towel. Oh, that's the gun pen. <laughs> Where are what? you? Oh, one of my best friend was taken by the shadows. Why be dollars, Faith? Remember, ducks don't let down. Hello! Tonight we seek revenge on those who destroyed our lab, and whoever defeats the most shadows will earn the most elusive prize of all. My respect. Oh, and the loser is fired. Good luck! I really need this job. <laughs> well, let's go, pilot. We are ready for launch. Could be dangerous. Suggested flight path? Let's get dangerous. <laughs> Meanwhile, is this where Lena lives? Explains why she's always sleeping over at our house. Lena, sorry to bar Jan unannounced. Maybe she's hiding. A journal. You can't read her journal. Although if she were taken, she might have left a note. Scrooge reversed her dime. 
vengeance plan, and in his time the witch did land. Yet as he struck the final blow, she cast a spy from her shadow. I walk the earth and wield her power to bring about Macduff's last hour. Lena is magic a spy? Lena is a shadow? She betrayed us all to bring uh -huh. magic. She was never my friend. You might not have her, but you still have us. We're family. And ducks don't say it. Uh, guys, check us out. Magica used the power of the eclipse to escape Scrooge's dime. Only to trap him there instead. We have to get to that dime and save Scrooge ourselves. And I know just how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> if it's your favorite treasure. Oh, too bad. Now it's ice cream. Want to look? Oops. How does it feel? Scroogey. <laughs> oh, looks like your family's coming to the Say goodbye, McDuck. Tennis thing! Tennis thing? Sports! Sports! Oy. Ah, there's the underwater lab. <laughs> okay, and up we go. End of the wall, we still got to go up the stairs. Oh! <laughs> Meanwhile, oh boy! Where's Sora when you need him? That's the only thing that saved your life, mate. Be surprised! Oh, oh my! the shadows.
Please. I told you not to come, so of course you showed up just when I need you. Classic reverse psychology. I feel like I should have seen that coming. Yeah. Hello. Go save your uncle. I'll keep these palookas at bay. Ducks don't back down. See? I told you it's a thing. It's cooler when he does it. Yeah. Come and get it. You're no good. <laughs> I love the grappling hook. Explanation. You broke the mirror of Taiki! The what now? It's an artifact? Terrible curse if you break it. I've never heard of it. And I am versed in all magics. Sumerian. Sumerian? You were in that dime a long time. <laughs> well, good luck with the cares. What kind of cost? Grave misfortune. Increased gullibility. A swift kick in the ribs. A what? <laughs> <laughs> She on situation here. Oh! You had sleepovers with a shadow. You gave him a friendship bracelet. Honestly, it's embarrassing how pathetic you were. Hell, let me put you out of your <laughs> Friendship is magic! I guess I get what you didn't tell us about our mom. Maybe we should realize that when we lost 
her, Mom. You lost her, too. Wait. Yeah. Okay, not the time. Oh, my God. Yeah, not the time. Ooh, hello. Hello. Back in spats! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> you know, I ought to thank you for showing you how weak and pathetic you truly are. They all went cold if you hadn't attacked me. My family may well have left forever by trying to destroy me. Yeah, you should have saved my family. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, son, I thought I was going to land on her. Finally, he gets his crash. Huh, never crashed in me before. <laughs> <laughs> crash you, my duck. You're having to say the last of me. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, I don't know, catch her? We did it. We sure did. Now, about your boot. She sacrificed herself to save you. Huh. I guess she really was my best friend. Oh. Whoa, okay. Huey. Louis. The third one. <laughs> Curse me, Celts. Have I missed you? Oh Family truly is the greatest thing. <laughs> Anyone up for a midnight swim? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't drink this water. <sighs> Wait, what? And so Dr. Rosie is saved, thanks to Scrooge McDuck and his family. Boys? She's alive on the moon? What? How in the... No, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Scrooge sets up teams after teams of people looking for her. And she's been on the moon this entire time? What? How? I mean, I, I, huh? That is how season one will end? Magic and a spell on the run with no magic at the moment. Lena is now Webby's cosmic shadow magic thing and Della Dark is alive on the moon <laughs> alright season 2 you better bring her back down oh, oh boy Jaffa Archfiend out of my mind